Greetings, YouTube. For years, if you know anything about my channel or you've followed me at all, you know the answer to a popular question I've been asked, which is, Prof, who's your favorite champion to play with? Of course, say it with me, Quake. Quake is my favorite champion. I do believe for years I was fighting for people to rank her up, saying if you master her, even if you don't do the super crazy mastery of Quake, where you're so good with her that you don't need to parry, you don't have to worry about limber, stun immunity, still, you know, there are people out there who are miles, miles and miles better at Quake than me. But if you can stun and you can do like the Quake B play versus the Quake A plus play, she's still amazing and super fun. And when I was growing up, there was a video game system called the Nintendo 64. And there's going to be some people who are like, Prof, why do you feel the need to explain this? Well, there are some people who don't know what the Nintendo 64 is because it's already like 20 years old. Maybe more than that, actually. I think it came out in the like mid-90s. So the Nintendo 64 had the number one first-person shooter game really ever in terms of how it changed the landscape of future games. And that was GoldenEye 007. And my buddies and I, my brothers and I, used to play that game so much at friends' houses because we couldn't afford it. And we would do this thing where we would use what's called proximity mines, where we had a buddy that was so cunning. I hated this guy because he was just too smart and it felt like cheating. He would hide in the vents of the game, and he would lay proximity mines right in front of him. And so every time somebody went to kill him, they would get close to him and then they'd have to crawl through the vent and the mines would be waiting for you and then you would, they would just explode and you would die. And he would laugh, this maniacal laugh, and we'd get super upset because it felt like cheating even though it technically wasn't. Well, to me, Quake is like a cheat code because when you have all of those uh, charges that land on your opponent and then they turn into stun plus crazy damage, you know, it's a beautiful thing. All of that huge soliloquy is to say, I'm having even more fun now playing with Omega Red than I did Quake. Does it feel like I'm cheating on my boo for saying that? A little bit. And I don't even know if people still say the word boo unless we're talking about a Halloween ghost. But it just it is what it is. And uh, quite a few people, both in the YouTube comments section and privately on the line app, said, Prof, that Omega Red video you put out that you love to play so much with, you weren't even using him to his full potential because you weren't going from parries to heavy attacks. And I was thinking to myself, wait, you mean he's even better than I thought? Because as somebody who's never played with him before, I was just having fun killing the enemy within 15 hits by just staying close to them because that's what my parry defensive gameplay style is already. Now you're telling me it's even better in terms of locking those spores in and having that degen? So then I tested out even more and I just started laughing. Like there have been so many fights that used to stress me out that are over in like 10 seconds. And I just start laughing because I almost feel guilty. Like, wow, I get to do this against these opponents? This is a new level of GoldenEye style cheat code, particularly because I also have a 565 uh, Red Hulk. So I want to talk about that before I do another Omega Red gameplay video, one that actually emphasizes the heavy attacks when she built up some spores. But I have added to the synergies to this, Wolverine, so that the plus 4% critical damage for each death spore on the opponent is active. I have also added my Deadpool X-Force because 30% faster rate to inflict death spores and 30% longer rate for death spores to be removed is definitely critical to longer fights in which you just can't beat the opponent as fast. I will say this though, for those of you who have said, Prof, you have to have the synergy to have Omega Red do damage. Omega Red has been brought into map 5 the first couple days of this week's Alliance Quest. I do not have Deadpool X-Force or Sabretooth with me. I have Vision and I have Corvus. And Omega Red still wrecks all the opponents that I've fought in under 30 seconds. So uh, the SIG 200 and the Max Suicide build, I think, is definitely the reason for that. All right, seeing Red, check this out. We are going to add Red Hulk. Sorry, Blade in place of blade. Well-timed blocks, which is a fancy way of saying parries, have a 100% chance to inflict one death spore up to a max of 30 spores total. That's a ton of death spores. So, the title of this video is going to be something to the effect of Omega Red truly is a parry player's dream. Because that is what I am, and that is uh, really the secret to my success. Now, uh, I guess I'll take off Corvus. Normally, I've already defeated 100% uncollected 
as I said in the last video. So this is just kind of showing some monthly difficulty. But normally, I would take Corvus in to finish off the boss. However, I don't need him. So let's just throw in Void to get the full Synergy team active. As you can see, four out of four Synergies. Boom. Four to four Synergies are active. All the blues in the bottom left. As always, I have to give the disclaimer that you will hear some tapping as my fingers are very big. And uh, it's all about the screen protector. Let's just go down this path. The screen protector of my iPhone success. Okay. We will see if the fight can last long enough to lock the spores in place. For those of you who are wondering, why is Omega Red such a cheat code? So I always start off in defensive mode. And I'm going to try to get one more parry, and we're just going to lock those in. And I'm just going to back away. I'm just going to back away. I'm not going to do any damage. I'm just going to back away and watch the damage completely kill him. I had nine hits. I brought it up to, what, 13 death spores. I did a heavy, and like the Proxima or Proximity Mines, I almost said Proxima Midnight Mines. That's definitely would be a different thing. Uh, I just stepped back and let them do the work. This has added an even more enjoyable and fun aspect to a champion that, honestly, I wasn't firing off specials and I wasn't really doing any heavies, and I was still having a ton of fun with this champion. Because this is my playing style, right here. I love to get an opponent in a corner, bait the heavy. All right, we're up to 23 death spores. All right. He was going to be bleeding for days, or degening for days, or whatever you want to word it. That was 20 hits, and I had a ton of fun. And it was over so freaking fast that it was almost just a joke. Now, Havoc is an interesting matchup, right? Because Havoc, you can't do your standard parries with. But I'm still going to bring him in, and we're still going to try this. Now, am I going to be able to land heavy? Mm, probably not. And as you can see, I already got hit. But we're going to still build up those death spores. And we're still going to try to bait some heavies. And you can see, even though I have not been able to land a successful heavy, we're just going to keep him in the corner. And he's dead, right? And in that case, I didn't use the new and improved Omega Red strategy. I just stayed close to him. And that's all that mattered. All right, I want to do just one more fight because since I've already done a gameplay video of Omega Red, I don't want to, uh, you know, make it super long. But at the same time, I just want to say that, like, as you can imagine, this is a lot of fun. This is as much fun as I've had playing the game in quite some time. And it's not hard. It doesn't have a huge, um, like, learning curve, like certainly Ghost would be, but even other champs. Okay, come on. Oh, I was trying to parry there, and it didn't work. But you can see, even when they hit you, the death spores still go up. All right, just back away, and just watch the health go down. Back away, back away, gone. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun. I mean, it's just, it's a parry player's dream. And that's really the takeaway from this. I am so thankful, despite the fact that Captain Marvel Movie Edition is certainly going to be taken at this point to rank 5 and awakened at some point over the course of my MCFC career. But I just can't imagine, even if I was able to clear Act 6.2 faster with her, I just can't imagine having as much fun with her as I do Omega Red. And at the end of the day, for me, somebody that doesn't care about Alliance War and somebody that doesn't want to be so into this game that it's a really stressful full-time second job, I, I care about having fun. I care about playing with champions that I get excited about bringing into fights because this game has as much stress as it can on its own. And certainly with the epic event quest this month, that's an example where I've seen videos where people have sent me, and even though I haven't posted them on my channel, they've shown me like using six or seven straight randomizers and getting like impossible nodes every single time. And I'm sure some of you watching this can nod your head and say, oh yeah, it's not just me. So the epic difficulty this month has not been worth the sacrifice of BS nodes, given the rewards similar to Master, which still have almost as many five-star shards, for example. Uh, and so because of that, 
you know, sometimes the content's just not fun and it's not worth it. But in this case, Omega Red truly is fun. He truly is worth it. And I highly, highly endorse anybody who is a heavy parry player like me, particularly. If you have an Omega Red as a four star, use that Omega Red with the uh, generic Awakening Gym that is right around the corner and just save up as many six stones as possible, though four star six stones are pretty easy to get now in the game. Not like super easy, but far easier than five star and of course six star six stones at this point. Well, thanks for watching YouTube uh, and thank you to everybody who gave me the advice. You know, I could have said to you, oh yeah, I knew about the heavies for Omega Red. I was just trying to showcase this play style. I, that would have been a complete lie. I didn't know, right? I didn't know. And now I do know. So, you know, knowledge is power. And I always say that I learn just as much, if not more, from you as you do from me. And this is a perfect example of that. Have a great day, YouTube. Thanks for watching.